Agamazing! This is Serbas of Serbas TV. In this two-part tutorial series video, we are going to explore eclipses. In this first part, we are going to explore what are eclipses, specifically solar eclipse. And on our second video, we are going to explore the lunar eclipse. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag Aghamazing. Let's go! The Earth is constantly moving around the Sun, and the Moon is constantly moving around the Earth. When these three celestial objects align together, an astronomical phenomenon called eclipse occurs. An eclipse occurs when the Sun, Earth, and Moon are positioned along a straight path and the shadow of either the Moon or Earth is cast on the other. The straight or nearly straight line formation of the Sun, Earth, and Moon is called CCG. During an eclipse, an object in space blocks another object from view. For example, when the Moon comes between the Sun and Earth, the moon blocks the sun. Hence, people on Earth will not see the sun for a period of time. As you can see, the moon also forms a shadow on the surface of the Earth as it blocks the sun. A shadow is a dark figure or image that is formed when an object blocks a source of light. What can you observe on the shadow formed on the surface of the Earth? You are right, it is not completely dark. It has a darker inner part and a gray outer part. The darker inner region of a shadow is called the umbra, and the gray outer region is called the penumbra. Take note of these concepts because we are going to use them in understanding the types of eclipses. In ancient times, the occurrence of eclipses is attributed to beliefs and superstitions. Some believe that eclipses can cause bad lucks and tragedies. And some believe that eclipses occurs because the sun or the moon is being swallowed by a large animal. However, these beliefs have no scientific basis. With the advancement of science and technology, we now understand how eclipses occurs and they are natural phenomena. Eclipses do not happen frequently because the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun are not always aligned in a straight path or in the same plane. Eclipses only happen when the Moon aligns with the Sun and Earth, specifically during the New Moon or Full Moon. There are only about 3 solar eclipses and 3 lunar eclipses in a year. There are two types of eclipses, solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Let us first explore the solar eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs during a new moon and takes place during the day. It happens when the moon passes between the earth and the sun. In this case, the moon blocks the light coming from the sun to earth. A shadow of the moon is casted on the surface of the earth. A solar eclipse can only last for about 7.5 minutes. Not everyone has the chance to observe eclipses. Your location on the shadow of the moon casted on earth will determine the type of solar eclipse that you will observe. There are three types of solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse, and annular solar eclipse. If your place is located on the umbra of the moon's shadow, you will observe the total solar eclipse. It is characterized by total darkness. The sun will disappear from your view and the surrounding will appear like an early evening. In this case, the moon covers the entire disk of the sun. The only light seen surrounding the total solar eclipse is called a corona. The corona is the outermost part of the atmosphere of the sun. On the other hand, if your place is located on the penumbra of the moon's shadow, you will experience a partial solar eclipse. This occurs when the sun and moon are not exactly in line 
and the moon only partially obscures the sun. The moon only covers part of the sun's light. An annular solar eclipse happens when the moon is farthest from Earth. This creates another type of shadow called antumbra. Antumbra exists if the light source has a larger diameter than the opaque object. If the observer is on the antumbra, he will observe an annular solar eclipse. Because the moon is farther away from Earth, it seems smaller and does not block the entire view of the sun. In this case, the sun seems to be a very bright ring surrounding the dark disk of the moon which is called an annulus. Indeed, a solar eclipse is one of the spectacular phenomena that you can observe in the sky. However, you should always remember that looking directly at the sun during the solar eclipse is not a safe practice as it can cause retinal burn which can lead to permanent blindness. It is not safe to look at the sun using your naked eye or even with the use of binoculars, telescopes, or sunglasses. One of the safe ways of observing solar eclipse is to view it indirectly using some forms of projection by using a mirror or a pinhole projector. And that ends our discussion about eclipses and how solar eclipses occur. In our next lesson, we are going to explore what is lunar eclipse and how it occurs. See you on our next science lesson. Agh amazing!